We're getting a better sense this morning of how the rising cost of living is affecting Canadians. A new report from Food Banks Canada is looking at food bank usage in this country. And numbers aren't just up. They're at historic high levels. Hillary Johnstone is in Ottawa to tell us more about what is in this report. Hillary. Heather, this new report shows that food bank usage in this country is at the highest levels it has ever been since 1989, when Food Banks Canada first started tracking these sorts of numbers. So this is an annual report called the Hunger Report. And what it does is it looks at the month of March every single year to track food bank usage across the country. And it found that in March of 2023, so some seven months ago now, nearly two million people across the country access food banks. That that represents a 32% increase from the year before, so March of 2022, and is 78% increase from March of 2019. Of course, that being the last March that we had before the pandemic started. Uh, so some really startling numbers there. One of the other things that this report is finding is that more people than ever who actually have jobs, who are employed, are accessing food banks. So 17% of this year's clients said that they had jobs. They're finding that this is something that's happening from coast to coast. And there are stories that they're sharing, uh, including one food bank in Newfoundland who said that people who have donated to it in the past are now actually accessing that food bank. In Calgary, a seniors program that used to see something like 16 or 17 people every single day are now seeing 200 people a day. So we heard a little bit more uh, from Food Banks Canada's CEO. Here's some of what we've been hearing. Many people are at a breaking point and so many people are suffering. Behind these big numbers are real people. And these are your neighbors. These are people who go to your kids' schools. These are people who are in our communities. These are your neighbors. These are people who go to your kid's school. And in so many cases, Heather, they are children themselves, saying that one third of everyone who accessed food banks in March of 2023, that they were under the age of 18. So what to do about all of this? The report says uh, that more needs to be done to help people who are on low incomes, in particular, providing more affordable housing and creating better financial supports for seniors who are on fixed incomes. Hillary Johnstone, thank you very thank much. You.